Hello, my name's Alan Walker. I'm with EQ Technologic. Today, we're going to be talking about an exciting innovation around our EQ BI Business Intelligence Suite 7.0. We're going to be looking at our integration with Siemens Active Workspace and how we're delivering advanced analytics and actionable insight within that platform. So here we are looking at the Siemens Active Workspace login page. Along with Siemens, EQ have been looking at the whole issue of user experience and trying to deliver a solution that provides the ease of use, allowing people to focus on process rather than the IT itself. When I log into Active Workspace, I'm presented with a desktop. This is personalized and role-based specifically for me. Here I have my regular action items, so let's go take a look at some of these items. Here I have reports that I can actually go and explore. At first I'm presented with the basic reports that Siemens offer out of the box with their basic reporting functionality. Here on the analytics tab I can explore the business intelligence functions delivered by the Team Center reporting and analytics solution. Let's go take a look at some in-depth analytics. These are segregated into different disciplines, change management, collaborative reporting, change reports, requirements management. I'm going to take a look at some of the requirements. I have the ability to filter or run the whole report. You can see here that I'm actually presented with a dashboard of key measures, looking at throughput, quality, schedule performance and cost performance. The charts that we have are linked so I can explore in one chart and have actions on the others on screen. Our ability to drill down and interrogate the data provides us with deep insight into specific tasks that are going on in the organization today. I can drill up and drill down as I wish. You will notice in here that the schedule performance has been independent as that is a different measure that's going on on the screen. I've got a lot of lay issues here that I want to go and explore further. Simply clicking onto the red item takes me into that data. I can also see trends of issues there and that gives me opportunities to go and explore what I need to do to resolve those problems. I'm now going to go back and take a look at other opportunities to explore information from the Active Workspace. Here, we're going to take a look at how we can explore an item within Active Workspace and then derive a report directly from that. I select a particular problem report. Here, we see that we're presented with an advanced analytics option. Exploring that analytics option provides me with a bill of materials report, or BOM report as it states here. Running that report presents me with the structure analysis. Here we're looking at the actual versus budgeted cost of that problem report. This is then broken down into the detail for the whole structure. One of the options that we have here is to be able to, on the fly, manipulate the data that's in front of us to provide additional insight. Picking the tool option at the top right of the screen presents me with an ability to edit the presentation of the report. Here, I want to add creation date to my data table. Simply picking the edit option and then dragging and dropping the creation date dimension attribute onto the chart gives me on the fly additional information. I can then save this as a new report to be used later on. Here we now see the completed report available to us integrated within the active workspace. The power here is that we never have to leave the source solution to get this information. 
All the data is being accessed real time across multiple systems. This could be PLM, ERP, manufacturing execution, multiple systems.